Have you ever seen these in the woods? You can find them in a variety of shapes and sizes and colors depending on what stage of growth you find them in. They're referred to as oak apples or oak galls. But do you know what causes this? Let's find out. A gall is a kind of swelling growth on the external tissues of plants. They are abnormal outgrowths of plant tissues. It's similar to an animal growing a wart. Galls can be caused by various parasites like fungi and bacteria, but also insects, and that's what we have here. Most usually, these are caused by the oak gall wasp. They're caused by the chemicals injected by the larva of these gall wasps. The insect's saliva contains various chemicals and induces shock and osmotic changes in the host plant's cells. The female wasp lays single eggs in the developing leaf buds or branches, leaflets, and leaf bases. The wasp larva then feeds on the gall tissue resulting from their secretions, which modify the oak bud into the gall. And now it doubles as a structure that protects the developing larva inside until they undergo metamorphosis. The oak galls or oak apples can be reddish, yellowish, greenish, pinkish, or brownish. They provide nutrition and shelter to these inducing insects. Gulls can have a vast variation in morphology, size, and wall composition. The size of these insect galls can range significantly anywhere from 2 inches in diameter to less than a sixteenth of an inch. Internally, galls also can exhibit diverse structures. Some are simple, comprising only outgrown and curved leaf tissues, while others have complex, hierarchical arrangements with multiple chambers containing different types of tissues and a nutritive cellular layer. So be sure to stick around for some of my other videos where I cut a few of these open. In general, the gall wasp gall has the outermost layer, the epidermis, followed by the outer cortex, and then inner cortex. The innermost part of the gall is the larval chamber. The nutritive layer is situated between the larval chamber and the inner cortex. How a plant's genetic instructions could produce these structures in response to external factors is still a fresh field of science. The genetic mechanisms of gall formations is a unique interplay between the wasp and the host plant in shaping the developmental trajectory of the gall organ. You also might see these, these fuzzy orange growths on oak leaves. These are also galls. People might mistake them for a caterpillar or a cocoon or something, but these are also produced by a gall wasp. They're found along the main veins of these leaves to which they are attached. A very small wasp is implanting an egg into the growing leaf, and a feeding larva's saliva causes a gall to form because the tree is trying to protect itself. Although the galls look nothing like the leaves or any part of the tree, they are made of the plant's tissues from this tree. Even the hair-like growths are plant tissue and not from any insect or animal. They start off bright orange and reddish in color. Uh, a month later, they'll begin to turn brown and then eventually they'll detach from the leaves and fall to the ground until the larva matures into an adult wasp and leaves its protective home. These occur in about two to three year cycles. Some years you might not even see these. And finally, people wonder if these galls hurt or harm the leaves or trees or anything like that in any way. And the good news is the answer is no. They are harmless. You don't need to remove them or do a thing. Just simply enjoy them. Especially now that you know what they are. Thanks for watching.